Hi, my name is Charity, and the purpose of this interview is just to get your uh, perspective on what happened uh, to you during the Great Migration. So, would you mind uh, telling me your age? I'm 79 years old. Okay, would you mind telling me your date of birth, please? June 25th, 1943. And would you mind telling me your birthplace? Gushland, Virginia. So me, I'm a high school student. I'm just doing this interview to show the world like the different perspectives of what happened during the Great Migration. Right. So they say that the Great Migration, the Great Migration, is often overlooked, even with it being the largest relocation of people in history. So, what is your opinion on that? <laughs> Quite a question there. Um, the Great Migration was taking place, started in the South, mm -hmm. where there was slavery taking place and, and blacks especially did not have a chance to um, make money mm -hmm. and live a productive life. Yeah. And so they decided that they would go North. And the first, start, the first time they started out, they used the um, stars and moons to move from one place to the other because they had to be very, very careful because there were catchers, white men out to catch mm -hmm. them. And then sometimes later on there were candles put in windows to let them know that would be a good place for them to go and spend the night. And when they spent the night, they would have to crawl into really small spaces like between chimneys or I guess maybe in under beds or wherever, just, you know, just to try to make it. And they would spend the night and they would have to get up early in the morning, make sure that, you know, dogs were not around, so they would start barking. Oh, okay. And yeah, to start on that trip again. So all those factors that you stated of reasons why people live, what factors of living did you seek in the North that prompted you to make your great migration? Okay, now see, that's where <laughs> I did not, I was not part of, uh, I don't think I was part of the migration, mm -hmm. but some of my ancestors, my aunts and great uncles mm -hmm. and aunts and all, were probably part of it. Mm -hmm. But I was not personally part of the great migration. Do you know what prompted them to leave? Do a what? Do you know what prompted them to leave from the south to the north? What reasons? An idea? Do I what? Do you know like what prompted them to leave from the uh, oh from the, the south oh to yes the, yeah. yes uh, people back in that day would leave the south trying to make a better life or mm -hmm. my better home for themselves in the north mm -hmm. and so you'll find that people from the uh, area of Mississippi around that area they went to Chicago mm -hmm. I'm from Virginia so a lot of my relatives went to New York mm -hmm. different ones had a different you know. Uh, Travel space, I would say, and moving from one area to the other. Did your uh, did they find the job opportunities? Did they find what they were looking for in the north when they first arrived? Was it like? Well, I think most of the ladies worked did housework, housework. and they would uh, live in the homes, and on every Thursday they were off, and every other weekend they were off. And so they would have probably some place to go. And I'm thinking way, way back there, they would probably go out in the daytime and maybe shop or do whatever they wanted, but they would have to go back and stay at the homes because when they first moved, they didn't have any other place to go. But later on, when they were able to get their own home, make enough money to get their own homes, then when they took off on Thursdays, they could go home. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then on the weekends, they could go home. <laughs> Yeah, and then they got into religion, mm -hmm. you know, visiting churches and all. What church did they visit most uh, often? What church did they often visit? Whatever church was around them, I would think, because at first, mm -hmm. when religion started with the blacks, they first started in homes. Well, I would say no, they first started in trees, going out under a tree and uh, worshiping, and then finally they started to worship in homes mm -hmm. and then till they would get enough money and they would build churches and they were able to build churches with what they made way back there is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. They weren't making that much but uh, the value of money there at that time was much more than what it is today. Okay. So with that, how did uh, like health care differ from uh, in the South and in the North? How were like how did health care? Yeah, you're asking me a question now. <laughs> I'm not really <laughs> able to because to me, 
I'm from Virginia. Well, in Virginia, how did it differ from Virginia? Like healthcare different from Virginia and here. Well, I'm from a segregated area where we had our own schools, own doctors, mm -hmm. own lawyers, uh, principals. We had everything we needed. I was raised on a farm in Virginia where we raised everything we needed mm -hmm. from animals, pigs, cattle, cats. Well, we didn't eat those, but I mean, <laughs> chickens, turkeys, things like that. Um, vegetables, mm -hmm. fruit, we had everything we needed. And from time to time, we would go to Richmond, Virginia to shop, but not very often because we had everything we needed right there on the farm. Mm -hmm. So uh, moving, I was, went to school in 62, I went to Virginia Union University, and that's when it was a little bit different because I always have had black teachers mm -hmm. all the way through until I got to college. And there when we began to have some white professors. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I went to you know, Virginia, uh, went to um, University of Michigan and Eastern University and all where we have white professors. It's a little different, yeah. Okay, okay. So what was your, uh, when you had came to the U University of Michigan coming from Virginia, the College of Virginia, what was the differences? Like, what did you first, was it different? Was it like the same? Not with me, because I had been, you know, through the university. Mm -hmm. I've lived in Texas. I've been to the university in Texas. I've been to other universities, Montclair, New, New Jersey. I went to school there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had gone, so it was no big deal. Okay. Uh-huh. So many uh, Northerners have decided to go back to the South. Like, I just took a trip to Atlanta, and a lot of them are from Detroit. What do you... Why? What is your opinion on going back? Would you Would you ever go and live in the South? Would you ever go? Live there? Oh yeah, the South is very progressive. Mm -hmm. The South is very very progressive. But I personally don't think I would go back because of my age and all. So mm -hmm. you know, I have my home and everything now. So yeah. yeah. So how were uh, older family members cared for? How How were they cared for? Like in the in the and wherever you were living in Virginia and Michigan, how were they cared for? Well, back there at that time, family would take care of families because my mother was raised by her grandmother mm -hmm. and we lived with our great, she was my great grandmother. She was a nurse for a white doctor in Virginia. So family back there used to take care of family. My mother, mother, sisters and brothers all went to New York but my mother wanted to stay to take care of grandma. So they took care of others. Today, people are put into nursing homes and it's a little bit different today. Well, sometimes people are able to stay at home if they're able to take care of themselves. Okay, so how was that? When you, how did, like, when you would uh, look at your uh, mother being a, uh, like a nurse and all of that, how was it? Like, what? What did you see from that? Like, this was my great oh, grand your great grandma. Great grand <laughs> uh, that's okay. My great grandmother was the nurse mm -hmm. for a doctor, mm -hmm. and they traveled by horse and buggy, way back there. Yeah, she was born in 1800s. Mm -hmm. My mother was born in 1912. So, it was a little bit different. Uh huh. So with that, uh, is there anything? Is there anything you would like to say, like about your experiences, like anything in regards to anything during the Great Migration and all of that? Well, I think I've had a good life. Mm -hmm. I don't particularly feel as though I was with part of the Great Migration, as I said, because I'm a few generations removed from mm -hmm. it. But um, it's a good thing that they did make the migration because they were doing it to better themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you must remember, I don't know if you are aware of this, years ago when blacks were brought over from Africa, mm -hmm. they were captured and put into these holding places. And they were, I don't know how they got water or how they got food. It was very, very dark. I've seen pictures of them, yeah. you know. And then they were caught later on when the ship came, mm -hmm. put on ships, and they were chained down on the ships. Just Have you ever seen yeah. uh, examples of that? Mm -hmm. Chained down and brought in. If you didn't have salt in your body, you didn't make it. You had to have salt in your body. So I don't know if that's why a lot of blacks have hypertension today, mm -hmm. you know, because you had to have salt in your body to make it. You know, otherwise, you die. 
So yeah. with this being said, the Great Migration is often overlooked in history, even though it was the greatest uh, relocation of people in history. People against in history. their will. Yeah, against their will, against their will. Mm -hmm. So what do you, uh, it was roughly six million, six million black people. Black Southerners ro relocated to the Northeast, Midwest, and West. So, like, why do you why do you believe that it's uh, overlooked in your opinion? What's the reason why you believe it was overlooked? Well, I I don't think a lot of Caucasians want to hear a lot today about yeah. slavery mm -hmm. and how blacks were treated. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get away from that. They don't even want their children, in some instances, taught about slavery. They don't want anything. But you must. Uh, be aware of your history in order to be able to move from one point to the other. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, thank you for doing this interview, and yeah, thank you for taking time to do this interview. And thank you. And yeah. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Oh, too. thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yes. I have to put you on the spot. Yes, you did. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> All right, I am ready, and you are. Do you have any stories about your relatives coming back from New York? Do you have any stories? Well, I remember one year we were still living at uh, our great grandmother's house, and uh, aunts and uncles came back from New York, and. Uh, they would be cooking. It was like on a weekend, I think. They were cooking and talking and all. And I had one aunt who uh, made this peach cobbler. Oh, <laughs> for this peach <laughs> yes. And uh, my uncle, Uncle Hayes, was saying, oh, it was Ruby, it, is, it was just delicious, just delicious. And they were, as they were eating, and then when she, Aunt Ruby would say, oh, really, Hayes? You really think it's that good? So, yes. Oh, I'll go back to the kitchen to get you some more. <laughs> and so <laughs> she went back in the kitchen to get him some more. He would stand up and the window was open <laughs> and throw it out, you know, side for the dogs. And she'd come up, oh, this peach cobbler is just so good. So anyway, that was a story that I remember them coming back. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any uh, advice for the uh, younger generation coming up? Well, advice for the younger generation, mm -hmm. they need to remember or learn as much about their history as possible. Mm -hmm. And so I think one of the best ways is to get with an older person to discuss it. Mm -hmm. uh, reading books, you can read books too yeah. as well, yeah, help you. But it's very important because if you do not remember your history, sometimes we might have to repeat it. Mm -hmm. So it's very important, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes.